um, we're gonna start down at least well the least important of the action right now um, I will leave him there these guys will move south um, yeah I think I like that the Turks will likely be in very very soon into the war okay now here just because we're going to be going through the zone of control and I'm not sure how well submarines are going to go through there unless I sneak them through so we're just going to sneak them through to here so that they won't um, take damage getting out of that now when we last left it we're still dealing with the mess that started the war Serbia um, Okay, one more. Okay, good. That was a two and didn't take to us any damage. Very good. Don't know if I should just be more aggressive down here or not. That doesn't look overly profitable. Um, and they're not dug in, so let's dig them in. Or do we reinforce them? Boy, that's a tough thing. Hello, unknown. Hello, Jaculius. Hello, Grey Knight. Hello, Lancer. No. No. Go away. Um. So, how you guys doing? Now, just what we needed. Sorry about all that. Hello, Apollo. Okay, moving them down here. And we need to... Um, dig these in here because we're also worried that we're going to be getting the... Hmm, I think that's a good direction maybe not the best war with our southern neighbor here the Italians battle in the Balkans yes oh devout okay so Any of this profitable in the winter attacking that is probably not so um, let's see about removing okay um, right here that could definitely use an entrenchment Let's look over here in the west. Yes, the war is going actually really well. Yeah, this is, um, again, okay, since we now have a fair number of people here, uh, we are using Iron X's, uh, the Blue Max graphical mod. We are using the quote unquote hybrid counters. As you can see, when we're fully zoomed in, we still have the NATO style counters telling us the unit type and size so that we don't get too confused over let's come over here to the east because we know uh, we know we have the detachment here with a single x or dot above it it's a little more of a dot than an x um and where we have three for the the whole core 
Um, so we have that as an option for us old folk like me that like those. Plus we have a picture. Now this picture will change. This is the early war, the 1914, 1915 style infantryman. You will later get a stall helm if you upgrade the infantry. And then I think the later one is a camouflage stall helm depiction. So gamer is awfully quiet. Yeah, um, I can up the sound a bit. Unfortunately, where I live, I don't have control of things outside of my apartment. And they have one of those machines that eats um, tree branches going right now. And so um, I don't want to have that overpowering things, Lancer. Hey, Rick. One of your fellow um, tree enthusiasts is messing with my stream. Yes, Chipper, that's right. That's what I was looking for. Yes, and... Rick is also a bit of a YouTuber and likes to play this game. So I'm sorry about the noise. Nothing I can do about it. And if I go get my pew pew and do something about it, it'd probably not end well. So we'll, we'll just hope it isn't too bad. I will be moving hopefully sooner rather than later. And all the, I'm building a studio and that will get rid of at least most all of that, yes. No, the mic isn't broken. I can bring it back up even a bit more. Just worried about outside external environmental noises. Here, so hopefully that's a little better. All right, okay, now we have Cut no here that we want to have in German hands. So we're going to hit it with the core there, and then we're going to swap these two cores out. And then we're going to hit here. That was just an ouchie for us. Again, these winter attacks are not necessarily profitable. But we need to get these things ground down. Up here, of course, we just need to spend, 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 and reinforce as best we can. So, okay. Um, any of these look profitable? Not really. The weakest units. All right, here we go, let's see. Oh, you know, before I spend everything on, we have to keep the Western Front in primary might. Now we've reconned, bombed, sort of the reconnaissance bomber um, here, basically that does no real damage, but it does affect how effective the artillery in 50, percent more effective artillery supposedly okay so we're going to hit him here hey thanks for following do appreciate that all right okay so keep hitting that oh um Yeah, uh, I think we hit them there with a weak core. Oh, they retreated back out. Okay, good. Um, yeah, let's do that. And now we will swap these out. They've, of course, attacked, so they can't do anything. Let's save that core that was very good and we saved this core which was very good so we're going to spend the big time MPPs yeah okay 
looks different from all the YouTube bit because again um, we are using uh, Blue Max is our no Iron X's Blue Max uh, graphical mod. Uh, he did. Uh, he was my. I hope I'm getting all this right. In the beta, when he was developing this, uh, in consultation with the de devs. So this is sort of an approved mod, if you will. Yeah, we'll hit that. And we'll get these guys down here and reinforce them just to make sure that they don't take reams. may not be a good idea but we're trying it anyways winter offensive though that is okay good well that was good don't think we're gonna actually take the unit down but we've severely weakened it you can hear the sound effects of the game, but not from game or anybody else. Okay, well, I can bring the volume back up uh, still a bit more there. Um, is that better? I can hear gamer, but the game might be slightly louder. Oh, hey, hello, Eric. Good to have you here. Okay, well, I can also bring that up a bit too. Um, best setting sound. Okay. A little better. Okay, very good. Well, I'll try to speak up a bit as well here. Okay, so we've now pushed pretty well on the west. We have 157 points left. Um, most of the frontline units that we can, we've reinforced. A few are sort of weak, but I, I'm hoping that survives. I don't think they'll push too deep if it doesn't I'm a little worried I have made some foolish mistakes with this game so we're gonna hope I don't make too many very good great night I do want to have good audio okay so let's see here we are going to up this we're gonna be spending most all of our MPP just on reinforcements or at least the German MPP. Yeah. Bring you up. We're gonna bring you up to there. We're gonna bring you to here. Thank you very much. You are much more aggressive than I am in this game. I'm always looking for opportunities to attack. Yeah. Well, I think stupid attacks is is par for the course. Um, we want to get you up near the, near the front for the first world war. Um, but I, I totally understand. I am very, very cautious on my attacks. I try to make them pay as much, you know, profit, profitable attacks as much as possible. And again, if you notice here, because he ran away from the last attack, he's still in um, silent mode. So we're going to turn him to hunter mode. So that will get us much greater range. And we bounce into somebody. A DD of all things. Good job, that. Paris is yours for the taking. Well, I hope, Arno. I hope, I hope. Paris is down here. But now, I'm very much going to avoid pushing towards Paris actually I am going to continue to push the right I am following the Schlieffen plan I'm not going to let the bright lights of Paris um, lure me into this open central thing here and get smashed from all sides yeah Verdun was a bad show in my opinion
Okay, so um, they don't have any more action points and they're sort of stuck there. Uh, again, we're going to go to hunt mode. Yeah. The Canadians did actually rather well at figuring out tactics to work out. Okay, so we think there's something there, but I don't think so because I did actually test play. So let's see if we come up to here. I'm going to put another sea mine right here. And then we're going to come back to the coast. And now we're going to get the subs. We are trying very much to have a submarine offensive. Any man dying. Wasn't just saying if it was. I was the commander of a unit in the war. I would not want to get all my men. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of sort of the... Um, now that I start to say it. Um, Rick Schroeder's movie uh, about... The Lost Battalion. is That's the name of the movie. That is a very good example of... Of a field commander working very hard to keep his men alive when the um, generals are being, um, shall we say, untruthful to him about what's going on. You're, um, most um, generous statement would be as they just were mistaken. But that I don't accept. Okay. Um, yeah. I want to get um, Tarnopol back. That is a fairly big priority for me. I don't know the yet really the conditions that might... Um, keep Romania out of the war I'm I think it can be done but I don't know if we can achieve them here let's see mention you made me remember the right decision isn't the most popular one the right decision the one will let your men get killed semi quote from Eleanor's flashback about officer training yeah, um, an officer's job is to achieve his goals while killing the fewest of his men possible. That is how I read the situation there, as an officer's job. He's going to kill some of his men. That is just, for me, a given. Uh, all right. All right, that's pretty good. Now, we've just, well... Pushing that down, they've attacked. Just looking for, because the weather will break, and the stronger we are to push, we got to take Breslatovs, we got to take Grodno, we've taken back Memel. Oh, um, well, we can entrench here, so let's do that. Okay, that's good, and I think we can entrench here as well. There we go. So those are all entrenched along that line there to push back. Is it worth to try Persia to join Persia in the war? I'm not sure. I don't think. Yeah, Ares right. It does. They didn't um, like um, Persia and the Ottoman Empire were um, at conflicts over where the border was going to be and whatnot. Um, I don't know how much you would get into the war. See, I don't even know if how much tr having Turkey in the war is going to help Germany, actually help Germany, versus cost Germany MPP equipping, equipping them. Sure, it may divert forces down here, 
Uh, I'm sure it might divert some forces down here, and maybe just maybe you can effectively uh, mess with things here for um, the, so uh, the Russians. I keep wanting to say the Soviets play too much World War II. And yeah, the Ottomans are near useless. Okay, so... Quite honestly, with the Ottomans, uh, I do want to push a little bit um, in the Caucasus if I can, just to tie up Russian troops, and then um, secure down to Basra, down here, you know, Kuwait, Basra, and then just hold. Uh, I, if for some reason, yeah, I see an opening to to push into Egypt, you know, across the Suez, fine. But otherwise, I'm just going to try to hold with them. That's just going to be my plan. And hope Lawrence and his Desert Raiders don't do too much damage to me. I'm just seeing if there's somebody. Yeah, okay. We can just give a little bit of a bonus to... Yes, okay, very good. So we've spent all of our MPP once... Well... We are doing research in for Germany, artillery weapons, airship development, armored warfare, and industrial technology, Austria-Hungary, industrial technology, artillery weapons. I think those are important. And they're just trying to get command going. Okay, so we're going to close that off. Okay, so I think we've done... Well, let's come over here. Marines... Marines, 150. Yeah, let's purchase these guys for the Austrians. We are going to be facing situations down here very soon. So, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm always afraid that I forgot something. Okay, Ottoman Empire prepares for war. Very good. Canadian Expeditionary Force completes its training. Workers strike on the Clyde over conditions. God, I'm sure 19th century working conditions and the steel ship type industry was god awful. Dozens are killed when Indian soldiers mutiny in Singapore. That was stupid of them. Pro German Boer revolt in South Africa is crushed. Especially when you're talking about soldiers overseas in some place like Singapore to mutiny. International anarchist manifesto against the war is published in England. Scientists um, progress in artillery weapons development. Ottoman Empire develops command and control level one, which will, will help. Don't know if we will get enough. Um, you need to get a core to Italy ASAP. Yeah, we're going to see what we can do. This is going to be a bit of an ouchie, I think. Unless you can... Oh, good, you dived. And that may save them. Now we got to remember to bring all of these guys north, north, north. Not try to bring them west into whatever is going to be sitting out here. Oh, Gall well, Gallipoli was a good idea to, to, tr to, to move in, but it, they telegraphed the move too early and then you know with the first raid up the Bosphorus and then they um, you know landed ashore and didn't rush 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 um, so it really gave the Turks and lesser extent the Germans the time to react to it so it was a good idea but execution was god awful I'll, I'll give you it. It was god-awful. Good. See, that's just what we want to have happen here is... This was the one I was worried about because they were already weakened. They were entrenched. Just hang on. Just hang on. It's winter. Uh, I don't know what, what the die roll is like for dive to avoid versus not so I'm sure it's some sort of die roll as it were uh, 
Okay, these guys are, if it's good weather, we're probably bringing them down. But being, seeing as we're snowing, actual snowing, I don't know that it will next turn. Oh, they're getting artillery. Yes, it looks like they will survive very good. So their job will just be to get reinforced. Ottoman army mobilizes for war. Okay. Get some horses. Another core, another core, another core. Okay, Ottoman forces mobilized throughout the Middle East. Ottoman Empire joins the Central Powers, yes. I might like them to have waited a turn, but Indian troops seize Basra. Now we could let giant locusts swarm wreaks havoc in and around Jerusalem. Indian forces suffer casualties, okay. Typhus epidemic breaks out among Turkish forces in the Caucasus. Which yes will be a problem. Okay, yes, they're blocking forces up there. Russia can no longer trade through the Dardanelles. Sheikh Ul Islam proclaims jihad against the Entente. Ottoman Finance Minister Mehmet Kalveti Bey resigns in protest against the war. A smart man. At least he was smart about war. They shouldn't have joined. The Khedive Abbas II of Egypt promises to help drive the British from Egypt. Another stupid move, even if you want that to happen. The British depose the Khadiv and appoint Hassan Kamal Sultan of Egypt. George V announces the British will protect Muslim privilege or pilgrimage routes. Now that's a very interesting thing when he declares that. If you sort of understand at least some of it, and I don't necessarily saying that I, I am an expert on what he's saying. Okay, the fall of Basra, painful loss. We should consider taking action here. Suleiman Askari Bey, head of our special organization, something or other, I'm not even going to try, ask permission to form a unit of volunteers in Mesopotamia to strike back at the British. Additionally, German officer Captain Fritz Klein is volunteering to lead a mission of sabotage production in the Abaddon oil refinery, forming Askari... Volunteer group inclined. Okay, yes, we'll pay the 55. So we get a volunteer group down here, which is as much useful for its location, starting out as anything else. Thousands of Georgian Muslims cross the border from Russian territory officer. Their services, yeah, another 50 MPP. So that gets our, there, okay. Reserve Corps here. Oh. Now remember we moved our reserve corps from Berlin to plug one of these gaps down here. I'm going to put him back in there, or just use him to put them back. Oh, how much I want him on the front. We have one artillery unit down here which is helpful, but I think we're going to add the second one here to push their Austro-Hungarian submarines. Okay, now this for me is a controversial decision. I so want to get Tarnopol back. We're still holding the oil fields. We've cut the rail link in the south, but I just think this might be useful coming down here. Now, 
as Rick said, we do want to get a core to face the Italians, but we're going to put these guys at least here for now to make sure they don't somehow come across the mountains and get um, the national objective. So I want to hold that there. So those are my decisions. Um, was the caliph in name only? He was a bog. I mean, you can argue the same thing for the Kaiser absolute monarchies. Time to show we're done. Secular state, obviously, Turk never made it matter the religious difference as far as World War One concerns. You killed millions plus Christian Armenians. They did, and they still deny it. Yes, we won't get too much into that, please. And I totally agree with you, but just maybe not the best place for that. Uh, okay, we're going to use the five strength detachments to help secure the coastal ports along here. But we're going to move these guys forward here. And yep, there's British there. And okay, um, they can't quite get to there. Don't know if because it's a sandstorm going on or something, it looks like maybe. I don't know. We see the sand blowing out there that's limiting movement. Oh, well, we can move. Move to there. Okay, well, that cuts off Nick Hill. Okay, now. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to move these guys south just because I think the mobility will be a little more useful down south. We're facing a bad time of the year for this. Oh. This is only can go, if only we're really lucky, will this go well. Okay, let's Swap this out for the detachment. Uh, okay. No more movement and damn it. Nope, we didn't take cars the first time. And we've left this open, I know. Ugh. But hopefully the bad weather will help us out. And the Russians won't want to do it. This is a bad time. If you can take cars, which is possible, though tricky, the first turn and secure it, you do yourself a very big favor, if you can. Now, the British moved up to basically Baghdad, is my recollection of things, and it was a disastrous situation for them. They lost so much in sickness and disease, it was bloody terrible. Um, but we're going to decide not to let them do that, hopefully, and move to some of these places and better hold off. But the wetness is not, time of year is not doing this. Nations do really stupid things during wars. Okay, now, they're bringing in, well, another core and a lot of detachments. This is going to be, this is tough. Uh, next turn we'll have that available to us. This is going to be expensive. Okay, well, we got that at least.
I'm hearing the Get that Ottoman Empire restoration, no sick man. Uh, well, I don't know if we're, we're hopefully not going to get it to a situation that needs restoration. Okay, let's see. These guys are... We will recon bomb this, as it were. just aren't yet ready enough for us to take that. Okay, well, that's not looking very healthy either. Some of these are almost no-brainers here. Some are a bit more tricky. Okay. I'm saying that too much, aren't I? Oh, the word okay. But I am thinking, do I attack? Okay, we attack here. That That's going to be a given. Okay, that got us there. Okay, well, we just bounced into an army HQ and we hit it fairly hard, which weakens it, and which weakens its ability to support. Now, road knows our objective. Do we... I think we can take this. That looks good. Let's swap these out. Let's move Rommel and his Bavarian Mountain Corps to there. Now, oh, oh damn. Damn, oh 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 damn. Oh, damn. To get that close, to get that close, we just don't have the action points to get in and occupy it. Probably should have kept the horses to go in and occupy that. That would have been a better move than moving them to here. Would have been a better move. Oh man, I I blew that, didn't I? They retreated. I didn't want them to do that. They shattered. That's good. Huh. Well. Hmm. 
conditions just aren't so great here. We'll move up in entrench and entrench. They can come back down here. And what you're saying, if you attack the core to the direct north of Grodno and take it down, a few you can move in and occupy the town. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know because I may have made some other bad choices here. But we'll swap these guys out. No, it was a good idea, and that, that was a fine swap out to hit them hard, but just don't have a force that I can get there. So yeah, it's as, it's as much about no more action points for these units as anything else. Yep, okay. Let's let's move away from that disappointing thing. Ha ah, they survived. Yay! And they're now healthy. Okay, we're gonna go back to the meat grind here of this front. Boom. Boom. Swap these out here. And that didn't do it. That should do it. There we go. Now I'm not really looking at attacking any further, and I'm almost thinking I should. Yeah, I'm actually going to retreat this guy. So they come back into here and reoccupy it, and I can kill whatever comes into there. Now, as Arno was saying about pushing in here, I could, but no, we're not doing that. But we are going to see about this. Okay, hit here, boom. Yep, knew that was going to be painful. Okay, and these guys are going to swap out. They're going to... these guys are going to hit. Just a little too far back. Let's see, if we were to swap them, can they then fire? No. they'll be hopefully able to entrench yes okay and we will rotate that now we are much closer no they can't but they can be fully hopefully fully yes repaired no that's for next turn would have followed uh, implemented there would have been no need for the Romans to split the empire and they would have returned okay how did we get on to the Roman Empire was the best Caesar the Romans had well he was the first Caesar the Romans had uh, Julius was not well he was the first Emperor I should say that would be the the more correct statement. Um, obviously, um, 
we're gonna leave these guys as avoid other submar or avoid surface ships mode. Okay, that tells us there's a clear path through to here, over to there, hopefully. Okay, we have these guys here. Now, um, we're going to risk coming through the blockade area. There we go. Good. Or no, we don't want to go too far out to sea, into the North Sea, because they're sitting on some of these Red Cross or things. All right. Barry said something. Okay. Well, Ari, be careful what you say. Might get everyone all off track into the wrong period. Okay. some of these heavier vests or vessels up heavy vessels in better condition up moving to the keel canal hopefully that'll keep them relatively safe okay well we now have a bit of a screen of mine so do they that's the North Sea is heavily mined now but we have a path out we've got let me zoom out here a bit what six seven submarine units out and we're gonna see about hitting all in here. I don't know how well that will work. You still see this is boggy, rainy, wet type weather. We're just going to keep pushing around the flank there. I'm looking for units I can reinforce well not so much that uh, I am not happy with my decisions this turn but they are mine for better or for worse just left that unoccupied but now can any of these guys get there no well they'll be able to come back into Tarnopol as well but they I don't think they'll be able to get to Kolomia um, through these two zones here but we will see hopefully that wasn't a huge mistake Yeah. Now for production. Pro well, oh, let's look at the Turk. Did we look at the Turks? Um, yes, we did. Okay. Okay. Back to looking at. Pro oh well, we can also let's. All right. Ah. Uh... We don't have, they killed off all of our destroyers, which are the things that we can do mines with. Oh, well, oh no, they can't do mines. Okay. We're going to let that be. Let's see what we want to purchase. For Germany, another core. See what's in production. Okay. Yeah, I think 
We want another core for Germany. There's that. Let's get a mountain core for Austria. And Okay, well, you change it to where Germany can and Red Baron out there complaining. Well, we do have um, on the fighter front um, purchase for Germany production. We do have um, uh, Falker fighters coming and um, some naval bombers as well as Zeppelins. So hopefully that will do us relatively well for them um, and some Falkers late in the year coming up for Austria and none for Ottomans, which I'm not surprised. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to save the rest of the MPP. We've done the naval maneuvers I want to do. Those are the things I often forget. They've moved. This is just a god-awful time to start a war. Oh, man, that was close. But we couldn't have moved in and taken it even if we had won. Come on, couldn't you have got your timing better? 